I grew up in Yankton, South Dakota, and in Yankton, almost everybody was in 4-H. Do we have any people out here who were in 4-H? Oh, not as many here. All right, well, when I was in 4-H, one of the things that we had to do was we had to keep a sheet of paper taped to the inside of the cupboard door, and we had to keep track of like almost every single time that my sister or I walked into the kitchen. We had to write down how many times we set the table, how many times we did the dishes. We had to write down just about everything, especially if we got to be a part of cooking or baking. And one of the things that I remember on this Mother's Day is my mom teaching me how to make bread. We started out with good old regular wheat bread, that kneading process that I thought thought as a kid went on forever. And now today I really understand the therapeutic nature of kneading bread. One of the other breads my mom taught me how to make was beer bread. Have you ever made beer bread? That's really fun to watch all that fizzing and... Of course, you know, the smelling of the baking of bread is the most wonderful part. But one thing that I will never forget is that my mom decided I was ready to figure out how to make Danish sweet bread. One Saturday, I think we did the recipe three times. And finally, my mom, full of grace, said, Well, it can't be you. It must be the recipe. Today, Jesus says, I am the bread of the world. Bread is a staple around the world. Bread is everywhere. We, let's see, we made a list at first service. Let's see if I can, without looking at my list. We got sourdough bread, rye bread, wheat bread, gluten-free bread. We've got uh, short bread. We've got gingerbread. We've got pumpernickel. French bread, multi-grain. Wait, what was the Indian bread? Naan and pita bread. Garlic bread. Oh. <laughs> Potato bread. There's bread all around the world. It is a staple part of every meal, everywhere you go. I've visited many countries and gotten that chance to see bread all over. Tortillas, we forgot. When I was in Ethiopia, I got to try and make their bread. It's called injera, and it's on this big round thing, um, bake thing, and you start in the middle, and then you go out farther and farther, and I really didn't do a very good job, but it was fun to try. Their bread served not only as the bread for the meal, But that bread became the plate. The food goes right on top of the injera. And then not only was it the plate, but it was also torn off and used as the utensils to pick up the food. They always could just use one hand. Ethiopians don't even have to wash their hands afterwards. They're so good at this. Bread in the world is everywhere. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. In the Gospel of John, this is the first of the I am statements. There are seven, well, okay, they say there are eight I am statements, but one I kind of, what? So Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He says, help me with this, I'm the living water. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the good shepherd. I am the gatekeeper. I am the vine dresser. Oh yeah, there's that one. There's one more. Someone's going to think of it. And then there's, because Abraham was, I am. That one's kind of, that one doesn't fit that image. I am with an image that follows. The image of the bread of life makes sense to us, right? It totally makes sense to us because we have bread and see bread all the time. In the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John, there are two amazing events that accompany this I am statement. One is the feeding of the 5,000, and the other is the calming of the storm when the disciples are tossed about in the storm at sea. What, What Judeans that understood their ancient story and their scriptures 
saw and heard when they read this sixth chapter of John was an echoing or a mirroring of the story of the Passover and the Exodus. Remember, Moses had to part the water for the people to find freedom. And remember, there's bread, that bread at the Passover that didn't get a chance to rise, as well as there's murmuring and complaining. And in the desert, manna falls from heaven, and their needs are met by God. And Jesus says, I am the bread of the world. I am the bread of life. And if you believe in me, you will have eternal life. You will live more fully. You'll have a satisfaction that you could not even imagine without me. In our gospel story, Jesus is saying that not only is he the Messiah, but he is the Messiah that will bring a new life an abundant life to all, to all. I don't know what's going on in your life with your diets these days, but me, I have had to cut out bread. I have cut out bread because I've been told bread is a bad carb, right? Bread is, boy, leave it out. And I love bread. I love kolaches and donuts and bread and I love it all. And there's something I realized. This whole business of bread and cutting out bread to be healthy and doing the whole gluten-free or the, or the multi-grain, this is a Western problem. As we try to make wheat and, and grains that are going to grow faster and fatter and bigger, we end up messing it all up. The rest of the world is looking for their daily bread yet, is continuing to pray, give us this day our daily bread in a different way than we are. And not only are we sometimes cutting out bread out of our diets, but we're sometimes cutting Jesus out of our lives. And sometimes we have forced, knowingly or unknowingly, others to do the same. Sometimes by our own actions or inactions, we drive people away from the love and grace and mercy of Jesus. Instead of opening the doors and welcoming all in, we're closing them. We're saying that this table is only for some when we know that is not true. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And any who come forward to this table are welcomed and are welcomed as participants. Today we celebrate Jesus who said, I am the bread of life. We celebrate the opportunity to come forward and know that we participate in a community that needs that bread. And we participate as Lutherans in this world, with Lutheran World Relief and many other food organizations, helping to do, to provide daily bread for those in the world who have none. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Thanks be to God. Amen.